Bilby Moon Written by Margaret Sperling Illustrated by Danny Snell Now it's time to hear the story. Click on the green arrow when you want to go to the next page. Click on me if you want the pages to turn by themselves. One night, far away in the desert, a little bilby left her burrow for the very first time. She sat still, her ears alert, her nose twitching. She liked the sweet smell of the cool night air and the soft warmth the sandy soil. But most of all, she liked the moon. It was big and round and shiny and bright, and its silver light was soft and gentle. she left her burrow, she looked up to greet the moon. And each night, the moon looked down and smiled. But then, one night, the moon didn't smile. Little Bilby was worried. The moon was missing. So that night, she searched the ground where the mulga trees grew. She met a hopping mouse, busy looking for seeds and insects. said little Bilby. Have you seen the moon tonight? A piece of it is missing. Oh no, said Hopping Mouse. I will look in the Spinifex grass. If I find it, I will tell you. Each night, little Bilby saw that the moon was becoming smaller. Sand Dragon was sleeping in a hummock of grass. He was a wily daytime creature. Perhaps he would know what was happening. Oh, dragon, said little Bilby. Have you seen the moon tonight? Half of it is missing. dragon sleepily. I will look tomorrow. If I find it, I will tell you. And still, night after 
night, the moon became smaller and smaller, and the desert became darker and darker. Echidna was scrabbling noisily in the dirt. Echidna, said little Bilby. Have you seen the moon tonight? More than half of it has disappeared. That is serious, said Echidna. Perhaps it has fallen into an ant nest. If I find it, I will tell you. The moon was now just a thin silver crescent. I could ask Mo, thought little Bilby. He burrows through the sand. If pieces of the moon are buried, he might find them. Oh, Mo! called little Bilby loudly. Have you seen the moon tonight? Almost all of it has disappeared. Mole came up slowly from his sandy world. I have never seen the moon, he said sadly. But I have heard that it is very beautiful. I will dig carefully. If I find it, I will tell you. The moon was very small. Not far away, Froglet was chirping. said little Bilby. Have you seen the moon tonight? It has almost disappeared. So it has, said Froglet. I will call loudly and ask other froglets if they have seen it. If I find it, I will tell you. Then came the night when there was no moon at all. Little Bilby looked into the vast night sky. Where was the moon? Strangely, the stars were twinkling more brightly than she had ever seen before. But they were not the moon. Little Bilby felt sad, but she didn't give up. She searched high. She searched low.
She looked in all sorts of places where she thought a moon might go. What are you looking for, little Bilby? Came a voice from the dark. It was Boo Book Owl. For the beautiful round moon," said Little Bilby. "It has disappeared." The moon hasn't really disappeared," said Owl. "Sometimes we can see it. Sometimes we cannot." It will come back soon. And Owl was right. For the very next night, a bright silver crescent appeared high in the evening sky. Each night, the moon became bigger and bigger, and the moonlight became brighter and brighter. Little Bilby hurried off to tell Sand Dragon. Have you seen the moon tonight? Half the moon. Is back. Poor dragon was confused. First, half the moon was missing. Now, half the moon was back. Strange, he thought, and went back to sleep. Then one night, as the sky darkened, and one by one the stars appeared, the beautiful round moon came back. Makes whiskers silver," said Hopping Mouse. "It sparkles on rocks," said Echidna. "It glistens on dew," said Froglet. "I am glad the world has a moon." Said little Bilby. And they sat on the sand and told Mole all about the moon. And the moon smiled.